everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a pay dirt review of the Lucky Strike Golden Gem Mine $25 Nugget Bag. I had my wife's uncle bring it back from North Carolina for me. He drove out there and we flew out there so he was kind enough to bring it back to Omaha for me. So I'm going to go out to the panning station. It says it's about 50 pounds of material so I'm going to run it through the recirculating sluice, concentrate it down a little bit, pan it out, and see how much gold we can find. There's a look at the $25 nugget bag from Lucky Strike Golden Gem Mine. Says it's about a 50 pound bag of pay dirt, so I don't doubt that. I loaded it in and out of a couple of vehicles. Got it shipped all the way to Omaha from Marion, North Carolina. So yeah. cut open the top of it, feed it in slowly with the scoop, and, and we'll clean the sluice out and see how much gold we find. No. Got the tie on top of this bag open with the utility knife. This material's actually got some bigger rocks in it, so this bag of materials really dry so I'm just gonna dump it through the harbor fabricating classifier right here and just gonna dry classify it gonna put all the larger material and the bag in this bucket and I'll wash those rocks off and clean this bag out all at the same time. It looks like it left us with about two thirds of a bucket of one quarter minus to run through the sluice. Just trying to feather this material in nice and slow so it has a chance to get wet and get underwater. That's one thing I like about having the header box pointed up into the sluice is it does force everything to get under the water before it goes down the sluice. Some people have told me that I should mount it on the top and run it the other way, but that doesn't 
force all the material under the water to make sure the gold has a chance to sink out. Okay, we're over at the panning station. We're going to pan out the $25 nugget bag concentrate from Lucky Strike Golden Gem Mine. It was a 50 pound bag. We ran it through the recirculating sluice. This is the concentrates that we had left after that. Let's put a little jet dry in the water to help break the surface tension of the water. This is actually some of the gem mining leftover water that we were cleaning some of the emeralds in. I actually saw a pretty good sized I don't know if it's a nugget or a flake of gold when I was cleaning out the mats. So you can actually feel it rattling in the bottom of the pan right now. So I'm getting down to pretty much all black sands here. Actually, yeah, pretty good size old nugget. I call that a nugget. At the very least, a picker. Pick it up really easy. Makes a good noise when you drop it in the pan. So. Get rid of a little bit more of this material now that I know that I got about 99% of the gold out of it. I'll roll it back again. And see if I missed anything.
Just about all of that material is magnetic. So. Don't look like there was any gold in the stuff that I pulled out of it, though. This definitely feels like the material that we ran through the high bankers in North Carolina when we were down there. So. They said that that's called Bain Mountain because there's 20 some gold veins that run through it and that the rivers refresh with gold constantly. So when they bring you buckets of dirt for your to run your high bankers, they just scoop it out of the river bottom basically. And I'm not saying that they don't seed their pay dirt bags but i'm guessing that that nugget that was in there wasn't just a lucky one you know i'm guessing they're calling it a nugget bag and they're adding a nugget to it so. and maybe some of the other fine gold too Doing a final check, it looks like we got just one more little piece in there, maybe two. Okay, just going to clean up the stuffer bottle and I'll show you what the gold looks like. And there's a look at the gold from the $25 nugget bag from Lucky Strike Golden Gem Mine. Just get it dried up and get a weight on it and figure out a value for it. This is the weigh in for the Lucky Strike Golden Gem Mine $25 nugget bag. Gonna turn on the scale, add the tray. Tear it out. I'm actually going to put this little nugget in there by itself first. Looks like 0.27 grams, so that's not too bad. It's a quarter gram nugget. And we're going to add the fines to it. Looks like 0 0.330 grams. So let's take that over to Gold Calc and we'll get a value on it. This is goldcalc.com. It's a scrap gold calculator that we use to figure out the value of the placer gold that we find. Gonna enter the weight of the nugget first, 0 0.270 grams. Select 24 karat gold. Hit calculate gold scrap value. Looks like $17.06 is the value of the nugget. It's just at a little bit over a quarter of a gram. I'm going to hit start over. I'm going to enter 0 0.330 grams. That's the weight of the nugget and the fine gold together. Gonna click on 24 karat pure. Click calculate gold scrap value. It looks like $20.85. For the final review of the Lucky Strike $25 nugget bag, the price was $25. Shipping and tax was included in that. The total was $25.
The gold I recovered was 0 .330 grams. The gold value was $20.85. The ROI without shipping was 83.4%. The recovery of investment with shipping was the same, 83.4%. Gave him a final review rating of 9 out of 10. It was nice that in the $20.85 worth of gold value, there was actually a $17 gold nugget in there. So, it's probably one of the bigger nuggets that I've found in a pay dirt bag. So definitely want to stop by the Lucky Strike Golden Gem Mine in Marion, North Carolina if you have a chance and pick yourself up a bag. It's a 50 pound bag of material, so it takes a little while if you're just gonna pan it all out. It's pretty easy to pan out though. There's, there's some smaller fine gold in there, but it's pretty light sand. So I'm gonna hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and thanks for watching.